Why is water safety so important? According to the American Red Cross, it only takes a moment a child or weak swimmer can drown in the time it takes to reply to a text, check a fishing line, or apply sunscreen. Death and injury from drownings happen happens every day in home pools and hot tubs, at the beach or in, in oceans, lakes, rivers, and streams, bathtubs, and even buckets. So it is very serious. One of our jobs is to always be proactive in our guarding. We're always looking and scanning the pool. In, in the sense of doing swim lessons, we're always making sure that we are near our, our, our kids that we're teaching. So I would just like to reiterate some of the importance of swimming is not only is it a full body workout, you're working out every muscle in your body. I personally love swimming. I think it's amazing. Being able to swim is a very important skill to have in those situations where you never know what could happen. So things to know about water safety, ensuring every member of your family learns to swim so they can at least achieve skills of water competency, able to enter, enter the water, get a breath, stay afloat, change position, swim a distance, then get out of water safely. With lifeguarding and especially in swim lessons with the younger kids, we deal with a lot of like fear around the water, just getting in the water or being comfortable in the water. So it's always good to be able to to teach your kids and teach your folks how to be more comfortable in the water and how to be okay with being in the water because having that fear in situations of emergency where like, like I said before, where a ship is sinking or someone's falling off the boat and no one else on the on the other, on the boat is is able to save them because they're too scared of getting in the water. You know, we would want to, want to be prepared in those aspects so you can not have to deal with that first big barrier of like stepping out of the the, uncom the uh, comfortability. Um, this, the second bullet point, employ layers of protection, including barriers to prevent access to water, life jackets, and close supervision of children to prevent drowning. Like I said before, um, when I'm doing swim lessons, our main goal is to always make sure there's an eye on our kids. And then the third bullet, bullet point, know what to do in a water emergency, including how to help someone in trouble in the water safely, call for help, and CPR. Drowning facts and drowning prevention. Every year in the United States, there's an estimate, estimated 4,000 fatal unintentional drownings. That is an average of 11 drownings per day, drowning deaths per day. 8,000 plus non-fatal drownings. That is an average of 22 non-fatal drownings per day. While children are, are at highest risk, anyone can drown. According to the CDC, every year in the United States, there are an, un, there are an estimated 4,000 fatal unintentional drownings. That is an average of 11 drowning deaths per day, and like I said before, 80,000 80, plus non-fatal drownings. That is an average of 22 non-fatal drownings per, per day. So it's very important that we're vigilant in the water, especially with, with kids, with children, but even with anyone who may not have enough skill, they may um, be showing signs of tiring in the water. One of our big things for non-like child folks that are swimming um, when we're watching them is to make sure that they are not losing their energy. You can tell if a swimmer is going to go down in the next 30 seconds or minute if you can see their arms start to slow their leg they're kicking and slowing down maybe they're coming up for water more they're they're not turning their they're not turning their head out of the water properly to take a breath they're just lifting their head up um and causing themselves to sink you know so there's certain dynamics and certain instructions and sort of guides in swimming and how you want to swim i implore you guys to start to explore it for yourself it's very fun it's very beautiful um it is also exhausting and an exercise and it'll hopefully help you in the in the long run you want to be able to step into the water and step into the world without fear